you <laughs> little rotten keg tapper no name having looking ragged Whoa. lame rapper you nut hugger butt buddy fudge packer okay enough of that my real friends call me asher laughter what kind of name is that bro dude welcome to 13 minutes the show you only watch when you've already watched all the good stuff this week i'm in akron with descendants of trees what's up fellers Howdy. What kind of music do you guys make? Fucking heavy metal, man. Fucking heavy metal, man. Mm. That's the best it, answer you could have gave. Uh, post metal, we were calling post. ourselves the last I checked. I don't know. Sludge, something like that. Slow, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Slow and heavy. It's eclectic, mm -hmm. you know. Each song's different, for sure. We only have about a dozen songs, and we've been together for. Five years. Five, yes. Six or seven. I mean, we started no, six, in 2013. 2013? 2014, yeah. I believe. Uh, like early 2014. Yeah. Um, no, that's yeah, right. Yeah, we played it. Yeah. So we've been together about six years, and we only have about a dozen songs. And, like, we've been getting together very consistently for that whole time. We just, our writing process is pretty slow. Um, we well, scrapped a lot of riffs. And we yeah, we scrapped fully formed songs, really, too. Sure. So. We've written a lot. We just, yeah. uh, we only play about a dozen or so songs. And, um, you know, when you mine that little material out of that length of time, you're going to notice, you know, because, again, we have been getting together consistently. Like, there is a an arc to it. So the, the material is very eclectic, like... Uh, and you can see a uh, progression to it. Yeah, I think initially our goal was to kind of emulate like acid bath and like kind of that uh, that kind of sludgy sound. And then as time went on, and we started listening to like better music, <laughs> we started getting more into like uh, like like kind of kind of weirder territory, kind of uh, trying to do more like sumaki kind of stuff, you know, but getting a little more modern with it, I guess. Cool, good enough for me. Is this the original lineup? Um, and I know that there's two people that aren't here today. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, who's in the band right now? All five of you. That's the original five? Yeah. I think technically from, I wasn't in the original the lineup. Beginning. I was I mean, the last we, person to get brought on board. But, we, yeah, we've I mean, had the yeah. same five members since yeah. our first show. So, yeah. Have you guys released any albums yet? <laughs> EPs or no we've put out some like demos online I think we have a couple and, things on like our band camp YouTube, on a YouTube SoundCloud but... YouTube yeah we have some demos but we're we've been plugging away at some stuff uh, nothing super exciting to talk about yet um, but we've been working on some stuff so like so. album eventually yeah 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 TBD. Okay. yeah okay I know that you guys have two Tylers there's one <laughs> The other one, not shown above. Which Tyler is the superior Tyler? I probably this one because he's here. If it, if the other one had showed up, we would probably go with him. So by that's default. my answer. <laughs> Good enough. Who does your guys' artwork? I really like uh, the the logos and the designs. <laughs> It's a, it's a, our main logo, uh, we contracted a boy from the Philippines. I kid you not, he at the time was 17 years of age and had a wife. Um, they're still married, I think. Uh, his, his name is Daiko. And Shout out to Daiko and his wife. Yeah, I can't I, pronounce his last yeah. name. It's like Nursiriaha or something like that. But he drew that for us for seventy bucks. And well, it, he he like uh, did that like um, unsolicited, right? Like he came to that, us. I had heard from this. I that's think, correct. Yeah. He had yeah. He actually contacted us and was like, "Hey, I found you guys because he had done work for other local musicians, including a band that no longer plays out called Delirium. But shout out to them because they're awesome. Yeah. Um, shout out to Delirium because they're awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have some other artwork that we had put up that was one we had one piece that was done by our singer Tyler he's also into the visual arts yep. and then we had a uh, another piece that was done uh, by a local artist named Derek Embleton who shout out to Derek um, he has mad a, shout outs in this he episode a, he has a Facebook page I think it's at Embleton Arts I might be wrong if I am I will provide a, a comment that if you are how dare you check his page out yeah, he's, he he's good, good. So yeah, we've got we've gotten stuff done from a few artists. But yeah, that's right. Uh, Daiko he contacted me and uh, or us, I guess. I think he just mm -hmm. got a hold of the Descendants of Trees page, but basically dropped that logo on us and was like, seventy bucks. Like, so uh, we bought it. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Fuck yeah! What inspires you guys to rip so hard? 
Uh, shit, that's a great question. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> do we rip that hard? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think so. I take it easy. You know, I do like believe that. so. Uh, I don't know, man. I guess just, you know, we've all been, like, uh, lifetime, like, really just, like, into uh, fucking heavy music for, I think, almost all of us. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we, were, we didn't have anything better to do. Uh, we certainly don't have interesting personalities or social lives, so we figured why not make some music. <laughs> it really did come together very organically like and uh, there's a lot of history in the band myself and Jordan and the other Tyler we go back to elementary school and I'm pretty sure you and Sam go back to junior high right yeah yeah junior high so um, it really is as simple as just a mutual um, you know taste for heavy metal and a desire to make it and just I don't know, this collaboration of guys was the only guys that would work with each other, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I tried for a long time to uh, get into bands and get the attention of local players that I admired, but uh, they already kind of had their own thing going, you know? Um, so, I just kind of wound up uh, starting a band with my friends. Like, not to say that I started the band, but, because uh, again, it, did, it really did come together very organically. Uh, Hartman was in Columbia doing an internship, and... Uh, when he came back into town, he moved into a house with Sam, and I contacted him because we were old friends, and we started hanging out again. And I don't know, within a couple of months of that, you know, um, myself, Sam, Jordan, and I, who were already trying to form a two-piece band together, um, and Hartman were all jamming together, and we only had maybe three or four jams before Sam was like, hey, I got this friend Alex that I want to bring in. And So, I mean, you know, again, very organic thing, just we all like heavy metal and wanted to make some, so... What are some of your guys' favorite movies? Oh, I know he's got one of them kind of referred oh, yeah. to on his t-shirt there. Oh, yeah, 2001. Uh, honestly, anything that... I haven't seen all of uh, Kubrick's films, but I, I've never seen one that I don't like. Uh, 2001, The Shining, Doctor Strange, Love, all that good shit. Um, we use clips from 2001 and yeah. samples for uh, some of our songs. Yeah, we have a like a little ambient. Our, our vocalist he does like synths and samples and stuff like that, and he pulled samples from a couple of different places. Two thousand one being one of them. I just loaned him a copy of No Country for Old Men. We'll see how he feels about That's it. That's a great one. Yeah, yeah, the one tonight. Yeah, yeah. Also, the uh, best moment in cin cinematic history: uh, The Room. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Tommy we watched that so. together yeah, as yeah, a band. Yeah. yeah. Tommy was so the Room. Yeah, that's a, a timeless classic. Mm. I've never seen that, but I did see like the movie about him with oh, James Franco. Oh, uh, oh fuck, what's that called? So, the disaster. The disaster artist. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so at least I'm familiar with that guy. I mm -hmm. guess I don't know if that's a good thing. Uh, you guys like beer or weed better? I don't Ooh. drink or smoke and haven't since like college, so I honestly couldn't tell you what I would think. No comment. <laughs> I've, I've been I've drinking been right now. So. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been sober for so fucking long. I, I, I couldn't even pick one. All right, different mix of answers sprinkled about. <laughs> Would you guys sell your souls to the devil to get what you yeah, wanted? That implies that we haven't already, right? <laughs> mm, yeah, they're already sold. <laughs> yeah. What did you sell them for? No, you'll notice when you asked us what inspires us to rip so hard that we kind of dodged the question. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. It comes full circle with an upside down star in the middle. Yeah. Who are some bands you guys like from out this way? Moon Burial. <laughs> I yeah. Shout out to Moon, Moon Burial. Burial. Uh, Inhaler fucking rips. Uh, yeah. Black the Sun is yeah. like our uh, cousin band, I they're guess. Right, I don't know. Played many, but we, many we, shows we, we've played a ton of shows with those guys, and they're all great, and they play good shit. Um, uh, what else is there? I'm gonna, yeah, oh, yeah. actual form. They're one of the best for sure. Uh, Slept to Death is good shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think they're still playing out. They got a new drummer, I think. Yeah. Uh, there's probably a bunch of others that we're forgiving, but Shiny it's dummy. in my head. They're probably not that good then. Uh, <laughs> there is one band you should avoid at all costs called Witch Dagger. They're fucking terrible. <laughs> Their guitarist is a douchebag. Don't listen to them. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I get it. Okay. Would you guys play a Paul Goon show? How yeah. do you mean? Like a, like a, like a concert. I put yeah. together concerts. Did you guys know that? 
No, I we didn't. Oh, yeah, I produce concerts. Would you guys yeah, play one? Too. Come to Youngstown yeah. and play one of my shows? Yeah, hell yeah. I, I'm honestly like, I'm trying to remember the last time we turned down a show. We'll pretty much play whatever. So, yeah. like, if you turned down my show, it'd be the first time you ever turned down a show? Yeah. <laughs> really? I don't know. No, because okay. when we turn down shows if we can't make it, but I don't think we've ever been offered a gig at a venue and been like, nah, fuck Dude, we that. Drove we usually just say fuck it and go play. We drove to Kashokton to play the basement of a sports bar in the middle of the afternoon. Like, yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah. Did you guys have fun? It was all right. It was yeah. Fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 I mean, it was like a two-hour drive. Yeah. Came to play a Halloween show in like what I would could describe as a cafeteria. Yeah, yeah like a community building. Yeah, a community thing, center. Was, yeah, that was interesting. Run, 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 run. That was like a Halloween show. Yeah. yeah, that was that was that was fun. We got the um, we, we bought the yeah we bought uh, a bunch of like black robes and we did like the whole like sun thing where we show up in the robes yeah. and then like yeah I saw a picture of you guys yeah. dressed like that so you don't play all shows like that yeah. no that was just, that I was, was the wondering you guys should play yeah. all of your shows like that yeah, what's we funny should. is that picture was taken by me I'm the guy behind <laughs> the camera in that picture. <laughs> The bass player in that picture is a, a friend of ours who used to uh, often uh, perform at least one song with us as a guest bass player. We used oh, to do yeah. this, We would do this bit where I would just, we would, you know, it was scripted obviously, but like I would just walk off stage after one of our songs without saying a word, and then our vocalist would make some joke about like, you know, um, <laughs> how I developed like spontaneous carpal tunnel and we'll never play bass again. And then we'd just be like, can anyone play bass? And, you know, Tinley would just walk up there. It was pretty funny. Nice. But, okay. Uh, I actually All took right. that picture, but you can't tell because of the hood, you know? Yeah. Okay, so you take credit for playing bass in that picture sometimes, like with the ladies or something? Uh, I got plenty <laughs> of others, you know. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Very cool. What do you guys like better, WWF or UFC? Uh, I used to occasionally watch WWF as a as a kid, um, as a, as a youth, a small child. yeah, a young and I, youth. And I never really kept up with the yeah. UFC um, mm -hmm. outside of I think maybe watching a couple fights back in like high school. So I don't know, probably neither. <laughs> we're not we're not sports guys. Yeah. Are you guys really a cult? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah yes, we are in fact a cult. Like the fastest uh, growing cult. This side of the Mississippi or something like that? Is something that... like that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. How do I join? Do we have, do we have paperwork? <laughs> we, do ha we do have paperwork. There is a membership fee. We'll drill down into those details later, but um, oh, you'll I need to like provide us a, a photocopied um, social security card and birth certificate, and we need your bank account details. We'll get into that later. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. It's a whole process. Sounds really exciting. Might be a ripoff. Might not be. If you could play a tour in any decade, which would it be, and why? In any decade? Oh, no. Hmm. And what would be the best for, I don't know, 70s? Yeah, so if, we, like if, 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 like I'll say if, we, if we were in the 70s, like, our we trash and music would be like revolutionary. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, we so might have gotten like, you know. <laughs> burnt at the stake or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> something to look forward to being a local musician, being burnt at the stake. Oh yeah. Exciting. Are ghosts real? No, but I wish they were. Why? Because that'd be awesome. Ghosts. That's like that's metal as fuck, man. Sure. Metal as fuck. Are aliens yeah. real? Ooh. You might know about that. Uh, he works for them. There's, I, I, there's this paradox I've heard that like uh, <laughs> says that it's impossible for there not to be intelligent life out there considering how big the universe is, but I've also heard that the the odds uh, of us encountering it are slim to none. The so it's like, Fermi paradox is what you're thinking of, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah. Can you outline it better? Uh, it, yeah, it's basically stating that like um, given the scale of the universe, there should be some kind of life out there. Why haven't we bumped into it? Um, there's some calculation that goes on with that that I don't remember off the top of my head, but, yeah. Statistically speaking, it's very, very likely that alien life that is on another planet somewhere does exist somewhere in the universe. Um, the odds of us coming into contact with it are, are pretty slim. I just learned about aliens. What can people expect during a Descendants of Trees set? A terrible little comedy. Awkward. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. I would say a good time. Yeah. Our sets are usually at least fun, even if you think we suck. 
It's an entertaining one, one way or the other. <laughs> yeah. Zero. Do people tell you guys that you suck? All the time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, we get a lot of like really positive feedback from from uh, shows that we go to. We get a lot of people that you know, a lot, a lot of other bands come up and you know sing our praises, and, and we do the the same to them. How much of that is circle jerking? I don't know, but you know, there's nothing wrong with circle jerking <laughs> as long as you're doing it for a good cause, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Do you guys remember the first show you ever played? Yeah. How did it go? YouTube. <laughs> is it? How did yeah. it go? Pretty good. We played a garage. So it was a yeah, Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, for all my enemies. Yeah. Right. That's uh, another local band for us to shout out that we forgot yeah. about. For sure, they got us on our first two shows. The first one was in their old guitarist garage for their annual Halloween party, and then the second one, about a month later, was at um, an imp- uh, <laughs> a venue that had just opened at that time uh, called the Empire. And uh, I actually wound up that night getting recruited to join another band there and played with another band for like five years called Edison because of that show. So definite shout out to For All My Enemies. They opened some doors for us. Yeah. Um, shout outs on shout outs on shout outs. Yeah. We did five shows or <laughs> five songs at our first show and our vocalist uh, dressed as Mario. He was the only one dressed up for the costume party. And uh, every time we book a Halloween show, we get these grand ambitions that we're going to do a big mm-hmm. group themed costume, and we've almost mm-hmm. always fallen through on it. I yeah. think that I think that, one, that one show with the rose is the one, the 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 one time we actually managed to coordinate long enough to to do a group costume. <laughs> yeah, I think it was great. Very spooky. Thank Xbox or PlayStation? Probably PlayStation. Yeah, I'd go with that. PlayStation, PlayStation or, has Bloodborne on it, so. PlayStation or PC? Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, you're yeah. elite! With yeah. two threes! Well, Alright, I mean, I do a little, little bit of both, but. Yeah. I see. What's overrated to you guys? Calling stuff overrated. It's <laughs> <laughs> a, a cop out answer. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, <laughs> Uh, honestly, I think I think what's overrated is, um, and this is my personal opinion. So, if anyone else feels differently, there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, if you feel different, you sh- suck a dick. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, as a local band chasing um, like success in a monetary way, uh, n- all of us like as a philosophy as a, 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 for our group have never really cared about profiting monetarily off of the music that we make because we all have separate lives outside of this. We don't really have aspirations to become musicians as a venue for employment. For us, it's purely a hobby, and it has always been that, and it'll always be that. Um, and we meet a lot of other local bands that, like, they really want to make it. And that's fine. They can do that if they want. But for us, that, that seems like a thing that we're not interested in in any capacity. So it, to me, I think I would call that overrated, for me at least. Yeah, the only thing I would tack on to that is that uh, one of the things that I get out of this, aside from it being a hobby, is a chance to express myself. Like, um, I just, uh, being on stage in particular and also releasing material, like physical copies, being able to put something in someone's hand that is, you know, a lot like a painting in a way, in the sense that it is a piece of art that I have fingerprints on, you know, I'm a part of it. Uh, I feel like I get... You know, I have friends that'll come to my shows, and I've known them for years, and after they see me perform in some way, they understand me better than they did before the show, even though I didn't say anything to them during the show, or, you know, I still communicated something to them about who I am and how I feel. So, like, self-expression is another one of the things that I definitely want to mine out of doing this whole music-making thing. That was a deep fucking answer. Yeah. One of the deepest answers to any question we've ever had on this show. Thank you for no making worries. it deep. <laughs> if not now, when? <laughs> Eventually. <clears throat> Yesterday. <laughs> All right. I'm Paul Goon. They are descendants of trees. And you are now up to your knees in sludge yeah. on 13 Minutes. Come on.